Hi there, welcome to Woodpecker. Here's how to get started. Once you've downloaded Woodpecker, you should see a button like this in your ribbon. Click the button to get started. I'm using a simple services agreement here, but you can use any document that lends itself to automatically being prepared, such as a contract, legal document, or status report. To get started, let's go ahead and click this button, and we're going to want to sign up for a Woodpecker account. Once we've signed up, we'll be presented with a series of walkthrough screens that show us around the app. To start, let's create a field. I'm going to create a field and call it Party1. Woodpecker offers five field types, single line text, rich text, date, number, and single select. You can choose the field type based on what type of data that you want to represent in your document. I'm just going to choose single line text because it's the most simple. You can also specify a default value for your fields. I'm going to go ahead and leave it blank for now. Next, I want to insert my field into my document now that I've created it. To start, I'm going to select Party 1, which in this case is John Smith, click the plus button, and see that the field gets automatically inserted into the document like this. Now I want to give my field a different value. Let's say Bob Jones. And then I'm going to click Populate. Woodpecker now swaps out the value of the field I just inserted with the new value that I entered. I'll go ahead and skip the Getting Started video. Next, I'm going to create some additional fields for my document. To create new fields, just click this plus button right here. I'm going to call this one Party2. I'll stay with single line text, no default value, click Save. Now I have my new field. I can see that there's a zero here, which means that it's not being used in my document yet. Here's Party2. I'll select it, and then click the plus button. I can see that Party2 gets inserted into my document, but there's no value yet for it, so just the name will be inserted. Let's make one more field. We'll call it date. Select the date field type. Select the format for the date. And we're going to default it to today. I'm going to select where the date shows up, which is here. Click insert. And I know that the date shows up again in the bottom of my document down here. I'm all set. Now, whenever I need to prepare a new version of this document, all I have to do is enter the new values, change the date, click Populate, and Woodpecker will do the rest for me. If a field isn't relevant for a particular instance of my document, I can always click the three dots here and click Ignore. If I click Populate, Woodpecker will remove it from the document. To add it back again, all I have to do is click the three dots and click Include. Then Populate, and it's back. To delete a field, just click the three dots, Delete, and Confirm. To edit a field, you can click the three dots and then Edit. I'm going to change this to Party 3. If you ever need any help with Woodpecker, you can always click the menu, then Chat with Support, and chat with us in real time. We're always here to help.